So you might be trying to figure out how you can actually go ahead and increase the storage on your PlayStation 5. Now doing this is actually fairly easy and it's going to be way easier than most of you expect. We all probably know that with hard drives and SSDs, they have gone down in value so much in, you know, what they used to cost maybe like 10, 15 years ago. And this is by far the easiest way to expand your storage on your PlayStation 5. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and purchase yourself either a SSD or a hard drive that you can go ahead and buy. You can buy them online on Amazon, Best Buy, all of these other places. I'll try linking one down in the description if you want to buy one. You can, you know, help support the channel if you buy one from there. But if not, you can purchase them online all over the place. And all you realistically have to do here is make sure that that specific SSD or hard drive is compatible with PlayStations. I'm pretty sure 99% of them out there do support, you know, PlayStations like that. But you may want to go ahead and actually make sure that it is completely compatible. Now, if you don't want to go about doing it that route, like if you don't want to go buy another SSD or hard drive and plug it into your PlayStation 5, another option you have is freeing up storage space on your PlayStation 5. So what you can do here is you can go ahead and pretty much delete any games that you're not using, maybe some games that you don't play anymore. You can go and delete those ones. If for some reason you don't want to play a certain type of game, like for example, if you don't want to play, you know, the racing games anymore, whatever the case is, you may want to go ahead and just temporarily delete those games as well. A lot of the saved data is pretty much saved within your account. So sometimes you do have to keep that in mind. Any games that you're currently playing, please keep them. Do not delete them any movies, applications that you're not using, anything along those lines, you may want to go ahead and make sure that your specific game and your specific console is completely up to date. You want to make sure your you know system is clear of anything that you don't want to play with or anything like that, and that can also help fix the situation as well. So if those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.